Hello everyone, DynaLHD here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and install the Sony PlayStation Vita emulator, Vita 3K, on LaunchBox. The first thing you need to do is go to Vita3K.org and download the latest emulator version. It's located down here at the bottom. I'm using the Windows version, so I'm selecting Windows here. Alright, I've downloaded the latest version of the emulator, and I've placed it here on my desktop. I have my arcade folder here on my desktop as well and inside that folder I have my launch box folder, my emulators folder where we're going to be keeping our emulators and the ROMs folder where we keep our ROMs. I'm going to go inside my emulators folder here and I'm going to create a folder and name it Vita 3K. Now I'm going to extract the contents of the download into the Vita 3K folder. You can go ahead and delete the download when you're done, you won't need it anymore. Now I'm going to run the emulator for the first time by clicking on the Vita 3K icon here. When you first load it up, you're going to see this screen. Select your language and click Next. In this section here, I'm changing my emulator path directly to my emulator because I want the folder to be portable. So I'm directing it to my desktop, emulators folder, Vita 3K. And I'm going to select this folder here. Now I'm going to click next. In this next section here is where we download the firmware and the font package. So we click here on download firmware and it will redirect you to the PlayStation website and click here on download update. Then go ahead and download the font package as well. Alright I've downloaded both files and I've placed them here on my desktop. Now we're going to click here on install firmware file. You're going to direct it to where your files are and then you're going to click on each update one at a time. Click OK and then install the second file. After you're done installing the second file, click Next. Interface settings, I'm going to leave this section alone and click Next. It's going to let you know your Vita system is ready, click OK. Okay, on this screen we create a username. Once you're done, click confirm and okay. I'm going to click on the automatic user login checkbox and click on the Vita icon. Alright, now simply click on the time screen and we're here in the Vita menu. Now we're going to install our games. When installing games, it requires the package file and the work bin file. So I'm going to go up here to file install package I'm going to direct to whether my ROMs are arcade ROMs and I'm going to select the first one I'm going to click here then I'm going to select my work bin file and I'm going to select that as well and then it installs once it's done you can delete those files you won't need those anymore I'm going to click OK now I'm going to install the other two games. Alright, now I'm done installing. Each game you install has a title ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our ROMs folder and we're going to create three notepad documents and name each of them to the corresponding IDs that you install for your games. Now that you've created your text documents, you can go ahead and close these boxes up. This is going to be something that we're going to use later when we import the games. Now it's time to set this emulator up in LaunchBox. All right, we're here in LaunchBox. We're gonna go up here to Tools, Manage, Emulators. I'm gonna click Add. And here under Emulator Name, I'm gonna type in Vita 3K. I'm gonna set the path. Once again, it's on my desktop, Arcade, Emulators folder, Vita 3K folder, and the Vita 3K executable here. 
In the default command line parameter section, if you'd like to load all your games up in full screen, then simply type this script here. And I'm going to check the remove quotes box and the remove file extension and folder path box. I'm going to go to associated platforms and I'm going to put the name here, Sony PlayStation Vita. I'm going to choose this as my default emulator. Now here in the running script section, I left a script in the description below that if you require escaping out of the emulator by pressing the escape key, you can just paste that script here and then press OK. And now I'm going to click close. Now it's time to import our games. We're going to go to tools, import, ROM files. Click next, click add files. And we're going to direct it to those three notepad documents that we created earlier. So I'm going to go to desktop, arcade, ROMs, Vita, and here are my three notepad documents here. I'm going to select all three and click open. Then I'm going to click next. What platform are you importing games for? Sony PlayStation Vita, next. Emulator, make sure Vita 3 k is selected, next. Use files in the current location, next. Next, next, next. Rename your title IDs to the correct game names. And click finish. Now that we're done importing, it's time to test out the games. Okay, here's Uncharted, Golden Abyss. And here's Kung Fury. And now we've come to the end of our video. Thank you everyone for watching. If this video helped you out at all, support the channel and drop a like and subscribe. I've created more tutorials for other emulators as well. You can click on the thumbnails on the screen. As always, I'm Donnell HD, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.